The displacement equations of two interfering waves are given by y1 and y2 respectively. The amplitude of the resultant wave is. So uh, here, you know, like this is there is one wave y1 and there is one wave y2. So both have to be added to find y. So y is equal to y1 plus y2, and we have to give a vector addition to both of them. Okay. Now before we do this, let us find out y2. So y2 is 5 centimeter sine of omega t plus root 3 cos omega t. Now since it's both sine and cos terms are involved here, so what we'll do is we'll do this. 5 centimeter will we have to reduce it in uh, you know like it you know, either sine or either cos so this is going to be 5 centimeter multiply by root over a square plus b square so here a is equal to 1 b is equal to root 3 so a and b are actually the coefficients of so like this is the standard equation a sine omega t plus b cos omega t this is standard equation okay so here we can see a is 1 b is root 3 so root over a square plus b square will be root over 1 square plus b square this is going to be 2 so therefore multiply and divide by 2 in the numerator and the denominator okay so 2 by 2 sin omega t plus root 3 2 root 3 by 2 into cos omega t now we can clearly see here the 2 is going to be uh, we can take it outside so this is 10 centimeter into sin omega t into 1 by 2 plus cos omega t into root 3 by 2 now this is cos 60 degree and this is sin 60 degree so let us write so this becomes 10 centimeter sin omega t cos of pi by 3 plus cos omega t into sin of pi by if we clearly observe this is going to be in this format 10 centimeter sine of omega t plus pi by 3 now this equation and y1 actually both of them are same so therefore y becomes you know, so because uh, y1 is also you know this is pi by 3 Okay, it's not pi into 3, it's pi by 3. So, therefore, y becomes y1 plus y2, which both are same. So, this becomes uh, 10 centimeter sine omega t. So, this becomes 20 centimeter sine of omega t plus pi by 3. So, therefore, the amplitude of the resultant becomes 20 centimeter. Okay. So, when we are adding the waves, we just add them vectorially and here because both of the waves are same so therefore addition is quite simple thank you